Hi, I'm Roger, and this is the Curiosity Rover at the uh, Rock Nest, and uh, I'm going to show you some things I have found. I'm doing things kind of funny here. Uh, I'm recording with my Sony cam because I found out through trial and error that it brings out a lot more detail and color and definition, and you can see things that you can't see on the computer screen. So let me just start with what I found first this little guy here okay I, I made one video and um, he alone is kind of hard to see I passed over him a million times before I found him but um, he he's a little kind of toy robot thing here's his arm here's his face and I'm gonna show you some more here but uh, he's got a little helmet on or a hood this is his torso uh, telltale sign of, of the hip parts are this round part here. Here's part of a leg, here's part of a leg, here's part of a foot. Um, these gears and pulleys around the arms are also telltale. If we start looking around, here's another one in a much more decayed fashion. You see he's got a little face over here. He's got two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. Let me show you here. I'm going to zoom up with my Sony cam real quick. You can see his face and all the art. Looks like a little part of a toy body. Well, if we go down here, you can see this guy. He also is very dilapidated, but you can see he has eyes and a little nose and a mouth. There's his hood, there's his arm, there's his legs, there's was part of his arm right there or part of his leg uh, moving over here here's another torso you'll see a little knob that little knob is where their head was I think his head is laying well it's, it's down there it's down there somewhere <laughs> anyway here's another guy he's kind of covered up here's his leg bent I think that's his boot right there here's another one Here's his body right here. I think his leg is kind of crooked here, but that's that looks like a boot right there. And there's a little knob where his head went. And if you look down here, uh, we're gonna find his little hat that he wears. Hang on one second. It is. It's much harder to do it with a camera and a screen. Well, oh, here. This was his mask. His, his head's gone. Anyway, so here's another body, here's another head. Here's a little round thing down here. We kind of pan back some you're going to see outlines of other little robot guys. I'm going to call him the robot guy. Here is... I think we've got another one. They're all throughout. You look for their articulated little arms. This is an upside down one. I know you got, you've got to go on here and look at it yourself because it's hard to tell on this. But I don't think I'm crazy. But this, he's actually the one that's in the best shape. Okay, moving on from the robot guys. We're going to go over here. And it's funny because if you see where the rover is, they're pretty much lined up where all the action's going on. And um, we're going to we look for certain landmarks, like these big black stones. And um, if we go here by this big black stone, i got to zoom in a little bit. Oh, here she is. Um, there is a statue. That's undeniably a statue, and you're going to see more of it here in a minute. It looks. I'm going to zoom up with the camera here. I got a. Well, I'm using a camera on a tripod, but here's the head. With my little hands waving here. I. To me, it looks like she is a rather robust lady with a, a bosom here. If you look, there's an arm, there's a hand, 
she's holding something in her hand it looks like and it looks like she's kind of just sitting in a, a cross-legged position but that is absolutely a statue I know it's kind of far-fetched but the more I look at this that little guy there and this little guy here look like people who are on their hands and knees looking at this thing um, let me see here I see a lot of these it's hard to tell I'm going to zoom in but this little thing here it looks like a, the end of a shoe or something I swear that looks like a uh, hovercraft and I've, there's a bunch around here and um, let's see when I say around here, I say in the rock nest. Anyway, so there's the lady statue one more time. And, and she's pretty much straight out from the uh, the rover. Uh, that's to give you an idea. Alright, so moving right along, if you turn to the right from the lady statue, <laughs> this, okay, now this may be something else than what a looks like but it looks to me like an elephant walking along with some cookie monster looking guy and I'm just looking looking he's on, we're almost there there we are there there is Mr. Snuffleupagus and Cookie Monster I'm gonna try to zoom in with the camera a little bit and zoom out I'm gonna zoom all the way out so you can get an idea of the scale of this and there, there we are again. On the camera, I swear it looks like there's areas of water where on the computer screen, it just looks, you just see kind of this brown, dusty everything. So there, there those guys are. I'm gonna pull out again. Now here is something that's just worth seeing. Uh, let me get all the way over here. This little, there's a little monkey man sitting in a chair and um, let me find him here. I've run my way around pretty well on this. I've looked at it so much. Anyway, now I, now I say that and I can't find the guy. Hang on one second. He is there. There he is. Okay. Now, check this out. I'll find it. I can find it with the camera now. Let me find my cursor. All right. Here we go. I'm sorry, I've never done this before, so I can't find it. There it is. Okay. Huh. All right. I'm not sure. This this may just be nothing. I call this little monkey man. We're going to zoom in on him in just a second. But um, it was not. It's not so much monkey man as it is what's next to him. And if you can see. It's getting a little blurry right now. Hang on, let me back off of this. Can you see to the left of the little monkey man sitting there in a the seat? There is... Well, now it's kind of gold now, but it's the letters EW almost directly left of his face, and at his feet is the number 100. And I... I just... Uh, there. That's a pretty good picture right there. So... I don't know what that means, but maybe there was a, a Martian guy named Ed Walters who turned 100. And the two things to the left, I don't know, that's just kind of just, they look kind of like little clown faces, but I don't really think they are. There's a lot of weird stuff in here. Um, let's go over, we're going to go all the way over to the other side now. Hang on one second. And this is, I'm just showing you some of the highlights of what I've found here lately. I've made some of these still picture videos, but they don't seem to get much interest. But um, here we are on the other side. 
of the rock nest, which is a great name for it. It's just, it's cluttered with everything. Um, here we go. This is, I show this to my friends and I, I get kind of half and half. People think I, they, they can't see it. Then other ones are like, that's pretty incredible. And um, here we go. I was, when I wasn't using my Sony cam, I never saw this. But uh, there's an area of rubble I was looking at. And it's right, I'm gonna zoom in on it. This rubble is right here. And it, on the white balanced screen, I thought that was pretty interesting to see some of these odd shapes with the holes in the center and all that. But then when I pulled out and took some pictures of it with my Sony cam, I saw this. And I I think that's a remarkable representation of what looks like an airplane or some sort of flying vehicle. And what, what I'm also finding out is that old metal objects look like they have this kind of leopard skin all over it. But if you can see, there's the nose. Here's the cockpit. Here's the fuselage. That's either part of an engine or part of the wing on, over here. But if you see kind of back behind here, there's a uh, another wing sticking out this way. And there's two of those little uh, hovercraft guys just, just looking. And uh, let's see here. Oh, I got a good one. Uh, and this is a... Uh, You don't have to use your imagination too much on this. It looks like someone just went to a statuary place and put it here. I gotta find it. it, it, it you can see the little tower thing here on the rover. It's about 11 o'clock from it, very close in to it. And here we are, here we are. Here. Oh, right there. All right. Thank God. I, uh, these are hard to find without these in camera. Here they are. Okay, thank goodness. There he is. There's Sam the Eagle. I guess these were uh, pretty patriotic Martian guys. And there's Sam's, I think that's Sam's brother. If you can see, uh, on the cursor here, uh, you see there's the back, there's his tail feathers, there's his left wing it looks like he got broken off kind of right there his head and chest or somewhere else the little thing laying here in front of it it's, it's hard to tell what it is but it looks like a humanoid figure and i swear it looks like a, it's in a kind of a praying position with his hands in front of him folded it looks like he has a little rope around his waist like a, a little monk guy but if there is any anything that's beyond doubt that is a bird that's a bird for sure and that's a part of a bird and that looks like a little martian monk praying all right um that's all i can think of for the moment i'm gonna i guess that's all for now i hope that was a good enough video i'm gonna see how i did i don't like my voice by the way this is roger in Kansas City, looking at Mars. It's really big. Bye.